Hi, this is Ryan Lobo of Winfluence Media, the host of the Creative Genesis and podcast. And thanks to Naresh, we are having the first ever pop-up podcast. How does it feel? Feels uh, popped up. <laughs> <laughs> so Naresh has a lot of things on his mind. So I, I don't ask you very crazy questions. But Naresh no uh, runs Lightridges Studios. And we've been friends for the past, what, two, three years? Maybe. Yeah. Yep. I really love his enthusiasm. In fact, he's the one who arranged his entire event for World Photography Day. So congrats on that. Thank I you. mean, it's really Thank amazing you. and it's going so it's well. It's for people like you. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm loving it, man. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, my, my idea when, you know, you said this is happening. What can you contribute? Last year, I contributed to the barbecue. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and people remember that barbecue. Yes. <laughs> Great. We do so, it again. this year I said, you know, I just started this Creative Genesis podcast. And yeah, so I was like, let's see who, which interesting people we find there. Because, you know, I'll tell you, Naresh, <clears throat> there are so many interesting conversations we have, right? True. And if people were privy to those conversations, they would learn and grow so much. But the problem is those conversations are never recorded. Yes, and I believe, uh, I'm not sure, but that's how it is. And unless you put an effort to it. Is it's, that what Creative Genesis is all about? Yeah, yeah, Creative Genesis is all about having down-to-earth conversations. You know, see, Should right we now... Should sit down then? No, 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 mm-hmm. right now, even though we're sitting here, I can see that you're, you know, trying to compose yourself. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm very uncomfortable. (laughs) You can get comfortable. You can take off your suit. It's it's more difficult in the hand, so it's okay. (laughs) Okay, so, Naresh, I'm going to put you through the same grind I'm putting everyone else through, okay? Now, we all know you as Naresh of Literature Studios. You're doing so much. But I want to ask you for your own answer. Naresh, who are you? (laughs) it's a tough question I know oh I mean okay it's like a fix man you put me on stage and you ask me who are you (laughs) okay uh, I am an artist I am a problem solver I try to find a problem I try to solve it I am trying to be an entrepreneur Um, you are an entrepreneur uh, when Maybe. So, uh, apart from that, I don't know, and I, I'm just another human being. That's amazing. I love your answer. I love it. Thank you. You know, so, one thing that I really like about you, Naresh, is that, you know, many of us photographers are so artistic that we only think of it as an art. But what I love that you are doing is you're helping other photographers also earn a living because of Literature Studios. Because you hire them for your shoots. Like you said, you've done 70,000 shoots in 70 countries. That's 70 amazing. Cities. 70, 70 sorry, cities. Cities, sorry. cities. Haven't reached the countries yet, but... Maybe you maybe will, I soon. don't know. But uh, I really respect what you do. Thank and you. And I love, uh, you. I, love your, uh, I love your opinion on how things should be done. You know? You remember a while back uh, on this on this WhatsApp group, there was a question saying the client wants the raw photographs. <laughs> and I, I gave remember. my version of it and you gave your version. I remember. And it's so nice to hear people giving their opinion. So thank you for that. Okay, now I'm on to the Tandoor round. The Tandoor round is a rapid answer. Well, rapid question and answer the session. Hindi version of roasting, okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. roasting you. But it's not... Hey, I'm a kind roaster, okay? I love my meats. You're my meat right now. <laughs> okay? So the questions are going to get hotter and hotter. The first question, Naresh. Yeah. What's your favorite dish? Dish. Dish to eat, like? Caramel custard. Caramel custard. I love caramel custard. Yeah. All right. The one which Sneha makes. Oh, really? Like, Hi, Sneha. I'm waiting for an invite. <laughs> when my throat gets better. <laughs> okay, next question. For people who are looking to, uh, who are, you know, probably in college or just getting out of college or the younger generation, which self-development book would you recommend? Book? Book, book. Damn, like a book I, to I read. should have pushed that question out because I think I stopped reading in school, man. 
<laughs> my favorite book is tinkle thank you <laughs> okay I let's take read. tinkle then <laughs> <laughs> seriously but i wish i could read i i'm more of an imaginer um I, more I, of I a thinker a creative thinker, thinker. I watch a lot of movies. Oh really? But I'm somehow not able to get my uh, pass through the pages without sleeping. Okay, so then Unfortunately. What is a mindset that you would say a entrepreneur needs to have in your opinion? Okay, so Because I, I, I love like the that, conversation yeah. that I have with you and yeah. I see a certain mindset in yeah. you. Yeah. So uh, this is a question I really would like to answer. That's great. uh when like there are multiple definitions of being an entrepreneur yep uh but what i strongly believe in is one you need to solve a problem mm-hmm. for somebody no matter how small it is or big it is yep. try to solve a problem if you're not able to solve a problem you are a businessman not an entrepreneur if you're not yeah. able to solve a problem you're a businessman But not I, an in in the in a sense if you just selling something and making money out of it okay okay an entrepreneur actually tries to sell something create a solution and sell something so right. the first thing is creating a solution yep uh for example facebook created a solution of networking first right then they made money mm. okay as against let's say if facebook would have charged you right in the beginning yeah i wouldn't call zuckerberg an entrepreneur yeah right yeah uh similarly there are many more products let's say uber let's say uh, whatsapp for that matter yeah okay these are entrepreneurs because they solved a problem they found a problem they solved it uh, yep. what people needed yeah uh, what people probably uh, longed for and it made their life easy somewhere okay i got your i i got your uh, idea now i want to ask you you have set up this beautiful event i have attended three of your events okay yep. you're all the you're the only photographer company in goa organizing network events yep you don't charge any of these guys anything so far <laughs> what what is your idea behind this what is your idea behind this uh the sense is going to be a little long if is that okay okay but if you could make it short trying my best okay so uh what's a photographer he is a person he or she of course with due respect who's able to capture a moment in a camera and you know create something out of it yep but the the whole essence of photography is it's an art form it's yeah. a way of telling a story uh in this whole pursuit the photographer doesn't understand how to sell it got it okay they are excellent at doing creating yeah, stories the artists they are artists you know they are yeah. able to uh solve or, or tell a story in a frame or for a musician they tell a story in a uh, musical format it's a similar thing but how do you sell it because if you don't sell it the artist cannot survive right right now photography uh, is one of those art forms which is highly sellable yeah everybody needs it you know yeah like we needed it we have photographers here yep. for an event uh, everybody needs it a newborn needs it a wedding needs it a business needs it hmm. right but when photographers are not able to sell the whole market goes for a toss because they don't understand how do you what's the value of their that's true art. yeah we stand in here light rich and many more companies uh, uh, a few companies in india are actually doing it trying to bridge the gap between what the client wants and what the photographer or an artist can deliver you got it because the photographer can't sell and on the other side the clients are not capable enough of judging the photographer or any artist work so they don't understand what do you mean like can can, we, can you hire a photographer for your wedding after seeing his wildlife pictures no way so a lot of them don't understand this okay and because of that the photographer ends up he he won't say no to it because it's money he, in he the needs money he needs money he needs money there is no work in the market so whatever comes his way he wants to take it yep and there there is always a competition because there's the next guy who's going to take it maybe at 20% less than what he is mm. so this kind of competition which is not out of choice but out of force to the whole photography community yep is actually spoiling the market yep you know then there are advantages being taken mm. we as lightrich are standing trying to solve by educating the clients okay. because we understand both the sides of it yeah we understand the entrepreneurial mindset like if the photograph cannot sell his product it's a useless project yeah 
at the same time if you cannot brief the photographer properly right he's going to mess it up for you yeah right so uh, just trying to conclude that we there is a need in the market to understand this product because it's an excellent product okay. you All need right. it yeah okay. and we are trying to solve that somehow that's so amazing thank you for that we haven't solved it yet so i call myself a one of a entrepreneur you know well <laughs> All of us want to be entrepreneurs, so we're just like you, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So on to the create, on to the tandoor route. The next questions are going to get harder and harder. Okay. Really? Okay. What is, who are the type of people you like to be around? The type of people. Uh, technically. Now, 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 now. See, listen. You can be frank and candid. Don't be so controlled. You're like no, looking no, like I'm, very I'm controlled. To, I like to be around people who can take risks. Okay. Okay. Who who believe that let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Rather than just saying, no, it's not possible, or I don't want to do it. It's okay to say I don't want to do it right. because that's respected. But no, it's not possible, and you are wasting your time doing uh-huh. it. I'd rather be with people who say, okay, let's do it together. If we fail, we fail together. Yeah. Let's go down. It's it's okay. Let's yeah. move on to the next project. Awesome. And nice. Trying my best to. I think a there's a project like we can do together. We'll talk Very about it I'm after happy. this podcast. <laughs> Always happy. Okay. Next question. Who are the type of people you do not like to be around? That's uh, that's definitely not. I can't answer that because I like to be around everybody. You know, people are like because so diplomatic on no, this I'm podcast. No, I'm not diplomatic. I'm serious. I can explain this. Okay, explain this. Uh, I'll tell you a story. Maybe uh, I may be boasting, but I'll tell you a story. Okay. I was driving down from Panjim to Goa, Awasco, mm. uh, in the night at about 10 o'clock. Okay. It was raining and I saw a man on the road uh, sitting down there in the right. rain. uh what would you do he looked like a beggar but he looked like he needed help but he was moving right uh um, okay four cars before me drove past him but i draw i stopped i went i spoke to him like why are you sitting here what happened i took an umbrella on him and he the first reaction he had was shit don't hit me really okay right and i was like no i'm not hitting you i just want to know what are you doing here in the middle of rains He said I'm going to Vasco. Okay. And I was like, yo, how are you going to Vasco at 10:30 in the night? You're walking. He's like, no, I'm going to walk to Vasco. I put him in my car and I dropped him to Vasco. I won't say anything beyond that, but that's also a type of person I would like to be around. Wow. So, I loved your answer. Wow. I I mean, I don't know what else to say because everybody can teach you something. That's true. and that man maybe taught me okay can will i ever stop for another person like that yeah yes i will yeah uh maybe god forbid any of them who i know be in a situation like that someday uh you need to know how to survive so That's why brilliant. not That's why a not? everybody answer. i think that that kind of answer makes people think so maybe. thank you for that answer that's a brilliant You're answer welcome Now the last question of the tandoor like round. Tough one. Okay. What is one thing that people do not like about you? Uh that I get home late without informing people. <laughs> um I literally forget to inform anything. Um and yes I even I don't like it but I get so engrossed in something that I end up not informing that's my all, my that's loved amazing. ones and my close people. That's and that's created quite a lot of <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm in the same yeah. I'm, i'm in the same bed as you are so <laughs> <laughs> so i think uh, that's something people don't like about me awesome. beyond that i don't know what people like about me so really know, maybe i think that's a whole different that. podcast <laughs> but i'll tell you a few things i've already told you a few things which i like all right so <laughs> that's you. the end of the tandoor round mm-hmm. but you know i want to ask you as an entrepreneur there are many young people watching this podcast what is one piece of advice you can give to somebody who is considering to start their own journey as a creative or an entrepreneur okay creative and entrepreneur are or, two different things yeah, or if somebody has decided 
to do something either it's creative or it's on the entrepreneurial journey yep. one thing you need to be prepared for is okay you are going to fail mm-hmm. you will fail in the next month or the next 6 months yep and if you are not ready for that you shouldn't be doing that mm-hmm. right because failure teaches you uh how to accept yourself rather than yep you know it, it's nothing to be afraid of yeah and people who are afraid i mean they somehow i see people uh not taking a decision because they they worry that they'll fail mm-hmm. somebody's told them that you're going to fail now that that bit uh, is needs help you know mm-hmm. you need to change your mindset yep. or you be absolutely clear that i don't want to fail so yep. i'm going to take the safe road that's good that's okay yeah but if you say no i want to do that i'm not satisfied with this life but i don't want to fail there this is something you need to you know you just walk back five steps and see which direction you want to go yeah. and it's tough that's true it's tough i won't say it's an easy call it's an easy decision but if you are able to do it yep. you will succeed but till you are able to do it you haven't failed yes it's okay the the doors are still open yeah. right? i love that because it it reminds me of this concept of failing forward yeah. meaning you fail so that you can go forward in life absolutely now even this podcast we never know will it be a success will it be a failure but you got to try right that's exactly what i well i decided and i said yes ryan do this here because i have uh, never been interviewed like oh, this really? i said okay let's see what you want to do and tell me what, what what's this what's going to happen so, what's this knowledge going out with you know every time i have like an interesting conversation with a person I always think man I wish this conversation was recorded because so many people would be inspired by this you know True. like even our conversations when we have like I think wow I was so privileged to be a part of that conversation you know but it was never recorded and this magic or this wisdom is lost in me but what can I do to bring that wisdom out into the world you know I want to interview creatives and entrepreneurs and ask them how did you get started because it's that question which helped me to get started right you know mm-hmm. when somebody told me how they got started that they did fail that uh, it was difficult it gave me the courage to start something of my own you oh, know so it. that question how did you get started is very important true so that's the reason too nice and you're calling it pop up <coughs> podcast what no you so yeah this event yeah. where i'm doing the podcast at an event okay is called the pop up podcast so this is the first time you're doing it yes never done it before awesome do you like it <coughs> well i wish i didn't have a sore throat <laughs> but i'm loving it and i want to thank you for the opportunity hey for doing man, it and i wish you do a lot more like this because this is interesting i believe thank you very much and all the best anything anything that else that i can do for you well anything i can do for you too we'll speak later awesome so thank right you on. so much this is ryan lobo with the founder of literature studios naresh shetty and this has been another episode of the pop up podcast of the creative genesis podcast naresh have you followed me on spotify and on youtube youtube yes spotify i awesome. will awesome so soon i'm going to be on apple podcasts as well awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much once again for this wonderful opportunity. We are all loving the event. Once again, thank you. This is Ryan Lobo of the Creative Genesis Podcast. <laughs>